So this lesson is going to focus on the accusative case. The accusative case represents basically the direct object, and the direct object is what receives the action. So, for example, the boy sees the girl. All right, so the girl here is bolded because she is the direct object. She's receiving the action, which is the scene. Because of this, she is going to be the, in the accusative case. Boy is the subject. So he's nominative case, which we've talked about. Girl, direct object. Accusative case. Now it says determine whether the underlying word or phrase is nominative or accusative. And again, nominative is the subject or predicate nominative. And accusative is the direct object. So the boy is reading the book. Um, if you want to pause this, do them and then check in a moment, you're more welcome to. Boy is reading the book. Boy is a subject, so it's nominative. The donkey is eating food. Food is receiving the action, so it is the direct object and accusative. The children are playing in the street. Children is the subject, so it's nominative. The children saw a dog crossing the street. Dog is receiving the action. It's what's being seen, so it's the direct object accusative. And the children petted the dog. The dog is the direct object because it's receiving the action, and so it is accusative. As I said, nominative is a subject or the predicate nominative. Accusative is the direct object. And then we've get new endings for this. AM and AS. Now there are going to be five cases that we'll really focus on this year. And we'll find a way to get all these endings down once we get all five of those. Now, to give you some examples of how Latin is formed and works, um, I'm just going to take a couple of names. The names we use Anna and Nadia. And then we'll pick the verb video, which means to see. And we get words like vision from it. If we have Adia, Nadia, and it. A is nominative singular, AM is accusative singular, so this is going to be my direct object, this is going to be my subject, so it's Anna sees Nadia. Now if I flip the word order around, Nadia, Anna, we did. This AM lets me know it's still accusative, so this is the direct object. That's still nominative, which means that's your subject. So in this instance, because of the endings, the sentence is still translated, Anna sees Nadia. Now, if we switched up the endings, Nadia, Anam, we did. Now, here's our nominative ending. Here's our accusative ending. So Latin word order is not going to be as important as the endings. The endings are going to tell you what's going on. So in this next bit, circle the nominative endings and box the accusative ones before translating. 
So I'll give you a moment, you can pause this to do that, and then check it with me later. All right, so we circled Agricoli and then box Noam Soam. So these are our direct objects, and Noam is describing the Soam. The endings go together like syrup and eggs. The NT is a they, which in this instance are going to be the farmers. Farmers are looking at. The new or strange forest. And this next one. All right, we have our nominative with the farmer and the A is singular, so just one. Specta is looking at Malas Poalas, that's accusative and plural. All right, so translate these next sentences in English. Again, you can pause it, try it out for yourself, and have me check it. A's matching up. Notice there's no accusative ending there with linking verbs such as sunt, like is, am, are, was, were. You can't have a direct object because there's no action. So there will not be an accusative there. The farmer is preparing dinner. We have an et, which means and, a couple of aes here. So those are both nominative. So those are both the subject, the girls and farmers, carry or are carrying water. Those are the endings we need to look at. The farmer. This is not love. The girl. All right, this next one can be a couple of things. The girls are great or the girls are large. It really just depends on the kind of person you are. If you go up to a girl and tell her she's great, fantastic. If you go up to a girl and tell her she's large, you may get a different response. So use context uh, to help you out with these ones. These are the endings. The girl. Is carrying water and then the farmer and the AMs are going together farmer loves good land <coughs> all right so practice with some multiple choice and we'll end here now these guys, please don't rush through them. Take your time. All right, you got four options. We're going to make sure it's right. So the girl. Uh, boy likes the girl. The girl is the direct object, which equals accusative and singular. And if you look at your chart, accusative singular is AM. There's our AM, so the answer is going to be C. The boy likes the girls. Boy is the subject. Likes is your verb. Girls is the direct object, accusative. And uh, the S means it's plural. So the accusative plural ending is going to be AS. Answer is D. Farmers are happy. 
It's a subject, so nominative and plural. Nominative plural ending is AE. And do you see the strange island? Strange is an adjective, so it's got to agree with what it's describing, which is island. All right, so island is insula. Now, with regard to this, we need to figure out what's the subject, what's the direct object, who's what's doing the seeing, and that's going to be you. So this is going to be the subject. What's being seen, the island. So island is the direct object. So the island is going to be accusative, and there's just one singular. So the accusative singular ending is am, which is right there. Hi, Cordis has poor parwas. Actually, it's just going to be Cortis. Um, Claudia has poor Romana Bona. Est is what's underlined, and that's going to be D is. Nice and all this. is what's underlined, and that's going to be R. Hoodie Diane Est. We don't even need to worry about that word. S is a linky. We're blinking these two things. So syrup and eggs. This has to match. Which one of those ends in an A? It's going to be this guy. B. All right. So there's an introduction to the accusative case. If you have any questions, let me know.